In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the get function here in Google Sheets. So the get function is a function that is similar to VLOOKUP, but maybe even better. So to make a comparison, we have our data set right here, and we're going to use both VLOOKUP and to get to get the revenue corresponding to these companies. Let's get started. So we're going to start with the VLOOKUP function, and you're going to start your formula with an equal sign. Type in VLOOKUP or select it right here. We have our formula, which will be the search key comma our range so this is the company and we're going to start with the company column so let's select that range starting with the company to the revenue comma our index so the index is which column we're going to get our return value which is in the revenue so we're going to start counting in the company so one two three four type in four and a zero at the end for an exact match if you press enter we have there $413,600,000,000. Now, if we go and check ExxonMobil, we have it right here, and it's an exact match. Now, if we drag this down, we will get the exact match for this company as well. So we're going to try and do the same thing with the get function. So let's start with our formula with an equal sign. Type in to get. And here is our formula. We have our database, which is the entire table. Now, it's important to remember that in the get, when trying to select your database, your table should have a header that will describe each column. And these headers should be unique. So let's reselect that right here, comma, and our field. Now, the field would be which column you're going to get your return value from. And we can put this in cell reference like this one, like here, or we can just type it in, in quotations. So type in revenue, like so, and comma, and we have our final part of our formula, which is our criteria. Now our criteria would be consisting of two elements, and that is the name of the column where your criteria is coming from. So we can do this like so and it will give us the return value of 413 billion 600 the same with what we got with our vlookup function now another way to encode your criteria would be putting it in an array so if we just erase that and replace it with an array we're going to type in the name of the column where our criteria is going to be searched from and the criteria itself so we can do this as well don't forget your curly brackets and press enter and you will still get the same value now if we drag this down and now it has given us an error because we haven't locked our cell references but if we do lock it right here so if we drag it down it will not give us an error so that's how similar vlookup and dget functions are now, if let's say there's a repetition in our database right here, let's say for our ExxonMobil, we have a repetition. So we copy it right here. The dget function will give us an error. So the VLOOKUP doesn't care. It still give us the same value. The thing is, it's giving us the first one instead of the second one, even though there's a repeat right here. So what VLOOKUP does is just return the first value from the table. And in the get function, it will actually give you an error telling you that there's more than one of this criteria in the table that you might want to check out. So that's how different they are. Let's undo that and move on to another example. So let's say we want to pull in some information from here to here. We can do that with our get function. Let's start with our formula type in to get now put in your database your field so we are going to get the revenue first like so comma and our range right here so we're just going to put in the array so let's put in quotations company 
semicolon, and Walmart. So don't forget your curly brackets and your closing parentheses. And here we have pulled out our revenue for this company right here from this database. So let's just put in revenue right here. Now, if we want to drag this down, we have to make sure to lock in our cell references. And now we have our suggested autofill. We can accept that because we don't get any error. So if we want to add more here, we can just drag this formula right here. It will give us an error right now, but we're going to fix that in a bit. So this will be for our state. Now time to edit our formula. So right now we have our field as revenue. Our database is still locked in. So we're just going to change our field into state. After that, we should also change our criteria right here because right now it's it has moved to the right as well. So we're going to change that into B and press enter. And now it has also suggested autofill, which we will accept. And we have now pulled some information from this database to this table. Now we can just format that to however we want. And that's basically two examples on how to use the get function here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.